Hi, I'm Keely and I work here at Clipfolio. Today I'd like to talk about some options you have when using hyperlinks to spawn other dashboards in your set of dashboards. I have three examples here that I'd like to show. The first one is a map of states in the United States of America and I have a hyperlink set up associated with each one of these states that links to more specific details for that state. So if I click on a state it will open up details about that state. So I'm going to go back. If I click on a different state, I get another dashboard. Same dashboard, but now the details are showing for Texas. And you can see with each time I click, I get another dashboard spawned. So that's a basic behavior when you're using hyperlinks to spawn dashboards. But you do have a couple of other options. So I'm going to remove those ones and look at this one. In this case, I've applied what's called a reuse action to the hyperlink. So I'm going to click on California and I get my orders for California details. I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to click on another state, Texas. And in this case, because I've applied the action of reuse, I just reuse the existing details tab or dashboard that I have uh, rather than creating a new one for each separate state that I click on. So I'm going to get rid of that dashboard now and, and look at one other option that you have. The third option you have is to replace. In this case, if I click on a state, it will actually replace the dashboard that I'm currently on. So let's do that with Texas. So you can see here that it's completely replaced the dashboard of maps and is showing me the details. I have another link here with the same behavior, replace, which takes me back there. So that's another option you can do with hyperlinks. Let's take a look at how this is done inside the clip. So if I look in the editor, I can see I have my map component here. When you're dealing with map components at the region or marker level, you need to en enable the hyperlink. So I've enabled that. And that gives me this link subcomponent here. The syntax for setting up a link to a dashboard is you have a number sign and the keyword of tab. And then you have your dashboard ID. And then after that, you can specify any parameters you want to pass in. In this case, I want to pass in a variable called state, and then I take that state from my data source. So each one of these states in my map is going to the same dashboard, but passing in a different value for state so that we see details for Texas when we click on Texas and details for Florida when we click on Florida. So that's the basic syntax. If I want to apply the reuse behavior, I type in after that keyword number sign tab, I type in the word reuse and then a dash and the dashboard ID and if I want to use replace I type in the keyword replace in there. It's as simple as that to take advantage of those behaviors with the hyperlinks. So once again going back to our dashboard you can use the hyperlinks to spawn new dashboards in your set of dashboards to help with the user navigation of the system and you have three options. One to spawn a a new instance of the dashboard for every new variable value that you're setting. One, to reuse the dashboard regardless of the variable values that you're setting. And the other one is to actually replace the existing dashboard that you're on with that new dashboard that you're linking to. Thanks for watching.